and then there's aesthetics, and aesthetics are the, like, the important part. Why do we enjoy uh, games? Why do we feel that games are appealing to us or enjoyable? Um, I think it's uh, important that we explore all these mechanics together and that we uh, show more people that there's not only the challenge mechanic in games and that we can actually uh, enjoy games in different ways. The, the indie developer community has an undeniably unique feeling of closeness and camaraderie, and for that we are incredibly, incredibly lucky. So from almost 20,000 kilometers across the world, we now have a supportive community for women interested in game development there, and for women already in the industry. So the idea is, by representing uh, these symptoms in this way, um, you kind of mirror what it's like to be traumatized, right? So the person who's watching the film or reading the book then gets an appreciation of how trauma works. Um, because of the unique characteristics of games, they have the potential to demonstrate trauma in new and interesting ways. I guarantee you, in two minutes, you'll get hooked. In 20 minutes, you'll be obsessed with a game. And in 40 minutes, you will love algebra. It's about making the life uh, of the tiny humans easier and better and more fun. Making them smart. Or Our very first event was held in a bar in one of the hip and cool and trendy areas of London. And there were no tickets, just anyone could walk in off the streets and they might see Johann Sebastian Joust and be puzzled and pick up a controller and join in and have a weird and fun time. And they did, and they, it was great, it was brilliant. People notice and appreciate the little touches that you do with things by far the most, and they're the things that you will remember and the things that you will take away and the things you will tell your friends about and the things that will make other people think, hey, that sounds interesting, maybe I'll look into it. Weird spaces, you walk into a room and there's just something odd about it and something magical and there's a video game, sure, but you're just happy being there. And it turns out, by and large, at Wild Rumpus, most people are just happy to be there. We, have, we had 1,300 people at that party. So, uh, one of the most popular uh, examples we have in the indie game scene is the Baby Castles Collective, uh, which is a group that really used the arcade cabinet as a way to uh, display game, as a way to organize events, party, and stuff like that. They're all, they're all stories, right? The fun thing is, none of this is planned. I didn't plan to become the grassroots arcade builder. But it sort of happened because we had this video game called Lazy Nights, and we wanted to bring it to parties. So we stacked two uh, IKEA uh, coffee tables on top of each other, put our video game in there, and started bringing it to parties. And, well, that was pretty cool. When we first conceived of it, we, wanted it, we just wanted a place that was always online, that we could always go to. And it didn't matter if we were there or not. Was, well, hey, I'm a girl, and these are girls, and you can. And I really strongly believe you can only make artworks out of your own experience, even though you might be like making something about something you know very little about. It's you're still gonna filter yourself through it. Dude, bro, yes. <laughs> if you ever do something like that, if you ever make a game about a different culture, at least have the decency to get the alphabet right. Um, it's not that things need a massive amount of public attention to be relevant, but it's still sad to me that cool things like what we do here or what we would do at different games go overlooked by the wider game industry um, and also the rest of the world. <clears throat> so, the 90s. <laughs> but in fact, we cared a lot. Um, all we did was care and sigh and experience feelings. And I miss caring like that. You know, I. I feel like people could care about games like that if we just looked at them a little bit differently.